Hey guys, so welcome back to Zero Escape Zero Time Dilemma. Let's carry on where we left off. We're shifting. We're shifting to the Anthropic Principle. At least the bad version, where we're about to be Swiss cheese thanks to these damn miniguns. I hope Junpei's got a plan, because we've got nowhere else to run to, so let's go ahead and jump there. Let's go! Yep. I remember wait, this wait, very wait, vividly. That doesn't count. Oh, oh, um, I, uh, oh gosh. Uh, your hand slipped. That was it, right? Yeah, what she said. I mean, how are we supposed uh, to get out of this? Find a little do-over, right? Zero. Oh, here we go. It's so strange that we actually get a visualization of it now. Cool. Badass Carlos reporting in. D did it work? But this is. Yeah. Uh, are you sure this is the right one, Junpei? There's another perfectly good one. Hurry, Junpei! Parallel What's to this flow. Yeah, um, right. First. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Junpei, seriously? That was your idea? What the hell? <laughs> Carlos, put Akane in the fireplace. Huh? What? Just do it! Fireplace now? What, have we got some flu powder or something? Uh, Junpei, what are you... <sighs> Akane, listen to me. Carlos and I are going to be your shield. Wall. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? The bullets shouldn't hit you if there are two bodies in front of you. Oh, cool. But, but if so, you do that, then you'll... You brought us it's here just okay. to save her? Listen, Carlos and I will protect you and die. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be fine. Before are you sure? We, die, we just need to shift to another history. Right, of course, because this, this is also a life-threatening situation. All of the X passes, Akane. You should follow right away. The, the X passes? In this history, five are already dead. Five's the only other one alive. That means five X passes will be revealed. How's she gonna jump when Carlos's the? Carlos's and mine are added to that. How's she gonna jump when the gunfire is already taken care of, right? And there's no more life-threatening uh, event. Oh. Then there'll be seven. No! It's okay, we're jumping. Damn it, Junpei. What the hell is this plan? Yeah, dude. You're going to help, right? What are we getting out of this? Running out of time! God damn it! Alright, here we go. Shouldn't Please. we be... Don't do this! In front of each other rather than side we by side? go back now. This is the only way. Where are we jumping? To the history when we rolled the dice and they were all ones. There we go. Okay. Let's do this then. Let's protect Akane. No matter what. Okay. I'm counting on you, Carlos. Keep your head no! down, Akane, please. No, 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 no! Gosh, poor girl. She's gonna be traumatized for life on this one. We jumped already, right? Well. Now announcing the current casualties. Don't tell me Akane's on that list. Q team, Q, Mira, Eric, D team, Diana, Sigma, C team, Carlos, Junpei. Jeez. These seven are now deceased. Kane lives. As a result, seven X passes will be revealed. Except the poor I girl's covered in blood. Kill. Is all. Oh gosh. It's okay, Akana, you know that these guys horrible. jump to another timeline, it's just You're horrible, Junpei. I think Junpei's just very pragmatic. I should go now. Doing whatever it takes to survive. like a damn cockroach. He's a fungus. You can't get rid of him. There she goes. Geronimo has been unlocked. Meanwhile, back to the happier side of things. So we would have already... What in the world were you thinking? What is your problem? We would have already discussed the old, uh... 
uh, anthropic principle how you know everything just has to be exactly right for everything to work or uh, also how we survived the 1 216th roll by uh, being in that one universe where everything went perfectly look the three of us shifted just fine so what's the big deal it's not okay uh we did get 7x passes at least but will it work not still? you too oh, actually Carlos. it will I can't believe you! You always were like that, weren't you, Junpei? No. <laughs> when we were in sixth grade, you faced those rabbit-killing middle school kids alone. There were probably other ways of handling it, but you rushed right in. It reminds me of um, that one scene in 999 where you wanted to go through the number three door, I believe it is, when you're at the, the triage infirmary sort of thing in the ship. And uh, Junpei makes a little gambit to see who will accompany him through the number three door. And you see um, Lotus and Clover hurrying to get through the door in front of Santa. I think it was Santa? I can't remember. Even so what, such a while shifting. ago. It's okay because it worked, but what if I was left behind there? Like, you can really see that when he absolutely needs to be, Junpei can be the biggest asshole of all time. But it's kind of what endears me to him, you know? I, I well, like him I, for uh, it. I figured you could escape alone then, or, or something. But that way of thinking is completely wrong. Being the sole survivor does not make me happy. There's no point in living once you lose the one you care about the most. Yet you made it to the moon without ten Akane. Muji. <laughs> oh boy, these two seriously got to sort out their issues. I'm sorry. I, I never meant to ever cause you pain like that. What's that? Ring. Well, um, remember back in elementary school, oh. your dream was to wear a ring on your left hand? Yeah, a lot so. of girls' dreams. Oh my gosh. What's the matter? Did you just put it on her index finger? <laughs> Junpei. <laughs> and isn't that her right hand? Junpei. It's okay. It's a touching scene. It's her ring finger on her right hand. Okay. Poor Carlos. Feels like he's Thank third you. wheeling. Thank you so much. Well, I'm glad he That's finally got to give it to her. You know, this is my right hand, don't you? <laughs> I thought I was going crazy. I was like... What? I was like, did the gate, did the writers just accidentally screw this up and they didn't know their right hand from the left hand? But oh, uh, no, oh. thankfully. <laughs> You're right. It um, it it looked like the left from from my side. So uh... classic. <laughs> That's just like you, Junpei. <laughs> I wonder if we did it on purpose. <laughs> uh, well, we'll move it to the correct finger later when I make it official that I propose mm. to you. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it officially. After we escape from here. I understand. So, until then, I'll leave an empty spot open. <laughs> it's been put on reserve. Oh, these two cuties. Carlos is just smiling like he did this all or something. All right, well, the X-Passes should work, right? This is the same universe. Let's give it a shot. Akane, do you remember the X-Passes for Junpei and me? I wonder if these guys are going to try yes. and decipher it. Normally, when someone shifts, they forget the memories from the last timeline. Right, but you've done it so but much. I'm used to yeah. it. It's all there. But wait, hold on. Because in Virtue's Last Reward, right, you had to keep doing it over and over again, which unfortunately led to a bit of repetition in the game, but uh, I can see what they were trying to do there. Akane's done it so many times that, yeah, it's already uh, ingrained in her. She's trained Carlos for Carlos and I remember what happened before, too. Wait, what? Huh. I think the memories were strengthened due to the resonance effect. Is that why we kind of, like, Those stuck around for a bit? the ability to shift... Oh, there are three of us here, so... But... I wonder why. 
Why have three shifters gathered in a place like this? Not just three, right? We've got Sigma. We've got Phi. That's five shifters. Right? Q. I mean, controlled by a computer, maybe. Technically, can shift. Doesn't really seem like a coincidence. Huh. True. Hmm. Even if we really are seeing more shifters in the world, the probability... Wait. The numbers are increasing? More and more people? Mankind is about to face an unprecedented crisis. As it stands now, we'll lose six billion lives. I assume mankind has sensed that and is adapting. Really? Even though it's... In reality, only a small portion. There's no way there are tens of thousands of shifters. Hmm. Then it's definitely on purpose. But we signed up for DCOM of our own free will. Wait a minute. But maybe <laughs> we just think that. And in actuality... We did exactly what Zero wanted? It's highly possible. Ah, damn. What is that bastard thinking? Who knows? Wasn't it because he needed us to shift? Why would that be important? Yeah. Why we'll is he trying to capitalize on this? Once we get out of here, anyway. You're right. We couldn't care less what Zero has planned at this point. He he's obviously aware of their ability to shift. A lot we of these games. X passes. Are we know for it. five of them already. So, one more. Akane, tell us one of the other X passes. Jump. It's save. Or save. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Save it is. Wait, what? It's not working. Hey, what the hell? Wait, wait. Is the X pass wrong somehow? Th that can't be. Yeah, let's try the other one too. What's going on? Akane. Uh, it's dull. Sorry, dull. My bad. I don't know where I got jumped from. I think that was another one. Uh, we're locked in here. What the? Zero new. No but why? We try and cheese the game like this. X passes are sent to their respective history. <laughs> oh, what a dick. Alternate timelines are not applicable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's amazing and horrible at the same what? time. No. Your X pass is not valid in this timeline. Please <laughs> proceed to the original timeline where it is applicable. I mean, even Junpei can't help but laugh. Junpei. <laughs> now this is hilarious. How perfect. Why? Why did we even struggle through all of that just now? Those guns turned my body into Swiss cheese. <laughs> and you're telling me that it was all for nothing. I mean, we could guess all it, right? All did was die in vain? Shit. So, just one person needs to die. What? Junpei? Just, just one more person, and Akane and Carlos can... Junpei, you don't kill yourself. Wait, Junpei. Junpei, get Wait. back here. Q? Oh no, the bad Q, evil Q. Whoa, jeez. Whoa. Whoa. Junpei. Uh, you are. Penalty. Penalty. What penalty? You are charged with a rule violation. Um, that means you must be punished. Excuse me. B punished? Time to exterminate. Exterminate? What? No, please. Q. Uh, oh, jeez, no room to run. Uh, 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 Connie. Wah. Jeez. Ah, oh, damn it, he's so strong. Well, Anymore. he's Those mechanical. And... That's so creepy. This is. We know the number to his helmet.
Can we pop it open? That was cutie. Okay. Carlos? Damn. What? How? <laughs> like how he's still pondering how things. Cutie? Doesn't matter. I gotta do something. If I die now. Why are you coming after me? And Akane. Think. Jeez. I gotta think. It's because I'm the leader. Uh, there must be a way. Some way to survive this situation. Ah, uh, there has to be. Okay, well, what's it gonna be? I believe that what you just did was shift, Carlos. That's it. Shift. <laughs> yeah. I could shift. We'll, we can no never die. Junpei and Akane behind. I'll come up with a plan in another history <laughs> and jump right back. Ah, uh, where do I go? Which history should I jump to? Carlos, we're running out of time here. I don't have time to think. Then. Oh, jeez. He's doing the uh... crouching tiger hidden dragon attack. Where are we jumping? Oh, wow, we're going here? Okay. Oh boy, we're hopping everywhere right now. Junpei. I'm sorry. I couldn't avenge you. Sorry, Akane. This is the one where I killed you. Akane? I... Okay, well... I just killed... <laughs> On the bright side, we've got a lot of time to come up with a plan now. No distractions. Junpei and Akane are deceased. Unfortunately, that means we've got no one to bounce ideas off. <gasps> yeah. No. Why is Akane... You weren't aware of this history? Oof. God, this was such a violent one. And a terrible one at that. Junpei and Akane dying so ruthlessly. This is... the history where Akane was killed. By your own I, hand. I killed her. No, I didn't kill her. The one who did was me from this history. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this can't be kept like this. All right, I forgot about that. I need Injury. to do something at least. Jeez. We're really having a rough go of it. The anesthetic worked somehow. The pain's dull. I got no more bracelet. I don't know how long it'll last? Regardless, who was that kid? Panel date. Panel date. I have date. to figure out who he is somehow. Yeah, there's one more thing I need to do. What's that? That vision I saw. I have to tell Q Team. Right. This is the one where D Team's dead, right? Search the family portrait. I'm counting on you, Gab. Of course. In that room. That they would have just now solved then, here. What's left is. Figuring out who that kid is. He might have been the one who killed Junpei in this history. Yes. Of course. Sean would have killed Mira and Junpei. Okay. Well, things have reset back to normal more or less. Where are we going from here? We've got a new unlock, right after we couldn't name who killed Mira. Looks like we're about to search that portrait. The yellow door. I wonder if it's the same as the one we're trying to access 
in the shower room. What the? Gab. Okay, normal Q. I knew it. What is it? It's a note. A note? Search the family portrait. Yep. To the pod room we go, Eric. Just the two of us. Hey, where are you going? It's okay. I'm you the one who solves all the puzzles anyway. Here it is. There's something special about this? The note said to examine the family portrait. Who is it from? The air vent connects to Ward C, so I guess. The only survivor of C team. <sighs> Carlos. This picture must have something. Is this Wait, your family portrait? Maybe this is a trap? Eric. He did kill Junpei and Akane. He could be planning to. I told you to hold on a minute! Oh, <laughs> shit. It does Let's seem suspicious, go. right? Could go of me! Oh. There it is. Whoa! What the? A door. It's a door. Mm. What's a door doing here? Twin's birthday. No, it won't budge. That must be the code. Eight numbers. Day, day, month, month, year, 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 Twins year. Twin's birthday? Huh? Look, it's written right here. Or month, month, day, day. Twin's birthday, huh? Okay, I'm lost. What's the big deal? Twin's birthday. It's gotta be some kind of hint. I think. For what? Opening this door. <laughs> but it's totally blank. There's no input screen or confirmation device. It's on the other yeah, side. No keyholes or buttons or switches either. Twin's birthday. Hey, what are you doing? I'm checking Mira's body. Well, I don't Why? think it's her twins. Well, maybe she was holding on to a remote or something like that. Wait. Why did she end up dead Let anyway? Let me do it. I don't know about that, Eric. I feel like I should just do it, considering I've got robotic hands. No. She didn't have anything. Hmm. Hmm? There's something on her nails. Blood. It looks like skin. And blood. She clawed at her attacker? What's that doing there? A struggle? Well, it doesn't look like she has any external wounds. So that means... This isn't Mira's blood and skin? Whose? Well, she must have struggled with someone before she died. Maybe Q's? A killer should have scratches from Mira somewhere on their body. It came from Q when he should chainsawed Junpei's hip. <sighs> but it's pretty strange. What is? Well, I thought up until now that Mira had been killed while she was asleep. After yeah. she'd been injected with the anesthetic. But if she put up a resistance... She had to have been awake first. Now it is time for you to sleep. What? No. Zero! Damn it. When next you wake, know you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. You bastard! Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Didn't even have time to pull the trigger. Should have left it in the lounge at least. Alright, we've got the clue. Twin's birthday. But what is the twin's birthday? That is the next question. Looks like we can jump here as well, actually. After the uh, stranded pair, right, where uh, their consciousness duplicated, one went towards the door of truth, the others stayed behind, so let's find out what happened on this one. I'm really liking this flow of events, just like constantly unlocking new things each time. It's perfect. Sigma. It's after 0230. Yeah, it's really late now. We're not gonna be injected with the drugs. Zero's already gone to bed. The game is over. There's no more reason to make us sleep. Akane will come back. Right? There's nobody on the deceased board, which is uh, interesting. If she doesn't, then we'll be stuck here. Um, 
Sigma, do you want to try again? Try what? Turning on the transporter. It won't charge for another... It's pointless. Bunch of months, We've right? We've tried a bunch of or times years? already. We did everything we could, but it's still as dead as a doornail. Once a transportation yeah, ten months. It takes roughly ten months to recharge. Recharge. So, what should we do for now? Start rationing. I checked out the counter at the bar. Uh, seems like we're good on food for a while. How long, though? How long will it last? With frugal eating, we'll have enough for nine, no, ten months. Really? That long? I did say frugally, didn't I? Oh, My calculations gosh. are based on half a can a day. Wow. You remembered to include Gab, right? No, I don't think so. Of course. There's no way I could abandon him. Oh, Sigma does have a heart. Let's rest for now. Even though he seems like such an we'll old figure dog. figure things out when we wake up. Alright, bedtime as well. Lucky there's quite a few recreational uh, items in the shelter, right? To keep us what is it? occupied for ten months? Does something seem different about this now? What's different about like it? what? I thought there were balls inside here. Are they gone? Maybe it was your imagination? Hmm. Where did they go? Oh, jeez. Are we actually going to explore Eat. that ten months? I'm not hungry. Just do it. Well, Gab's eating. Come on, Diana. Half a can a day, though? Do we really need half a can a day? Couldn't we do half a can every two days? Well, I knew you'd be in here. Hmm. I, I actually don't really like this room. But when I'm here, I feel like there's a chance I could remember. Do you mean Phi? How did you... <laughs> I feel the same. Yeah. For some reason, I can see her face when I come here. Her energy, her teases for Sigma, calling him a grandpa. Do you know what this is? Hey, that's Fi's brooch. Memento from her mother. Why What's do you yours, have it? Diana? I don't know. It was in my pocket for some reason. You remember anything? Yes? No? Guess not. Fi's safe, right? <sighs> I truly wish that's true. Yeah, about that. I think she's toast. Literally. Whoa! Oh, okay. Please! Open the door! Open it! Are you doing this to us? You I don't know if there's me, anyone. Can't you, Zero? To answer you back. I know you're hiding somewhere, just watching us. You could at least tell us why. Zero, Zero. Hmm. Jeez, such a desperate situation. We really are the stranded pair. Water still works. Diana? You okay? I feel so bad for her. She doesn't deserve this. She's so pure and innocent. Oh gosh. <sighs> I wonder how long it's been now. Two weeks. Oh, wow. You kept track? It even feels like a, a year the wall. at this point. 
And we've just been going through montages. It's so peaceful. Really? Does that sound weird? Hmm. There's no war here. No violent murders, no rapes. No innocent children being abducted. No violent murders anymore. It's all going on in the outside world, though. But at least this way, we don't have to know about it. Ignorance is bliss. That's why it's peaceful. No horrible bosses, no annoying drama between co-workers. But is this really a life? You don't have to worry about seeing how happy your friends are on social media. Like... I have a new boyfriend, or my child just turned one. Look at all this <laughs> amazing food I ate at this gorgeous restaurant. That's why I laid off Facebook, man. I got tired of seeing it. Tired of seeing other people's... No one shares the bad stuff, right? They only share the good stuff, and then you look at it, and you try and compare yourself to it, and you feel like crap because you're not living that good life. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's a vicious cycle. It's all... just like this. There it is. The damn what? bird, bird box, Do bird cage. Do you know Materlinks, the blue bird? This is a music box using it as a motif. I swear I typed that in though. What is it? But you know oh, about that. Uh, nothing. Don't you, Sigma? So, what about it is the same? You know how in the end, the bird was in Tiltil and Mitil's home all along. Right. That's they what Luna traveled said. all across the world in search of it. This feels similar. I guess... I mean to say... <laughs> happiness is closer than you think. Oh, that puts a smile on my face. In this shelter? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, Diana, but your interpretation is wrong. In the original work, the blue bird escapes the cage and flies away. Happiness will slip through your fingers the moment you believe you have it. Mm. It's implying that the process of dreaming is true happiness. Uh, it's an interesting thought, right? Like, Because when you have your goals and dreams, you're like, Oh man, what am I going to do once I get that car, once I get that house? Once I get that game, or once I get that new toy I've always wanted. And then once you get that toy, you have fun for like a week, and then you're just like, okay, now moving on to the next thing, and you're just constantly in pursuit of stuff. So the thing that you thought would make you happy was just a stepping stone all along. But I don't know about uh, as soon as you realize true happiness, it slips through your fingers. I feel like more uh, once you realize true happiness, you'll realize it slipped through your fingers couple of days ago really because you never know a good thing till it's gone usually oh, right wow. you just ruined my dream then good one sigma <laughs> uh, touche still buff though <laughs> sorry you won't disappear will you nope i've got another 40 years before I transport. Sigma? Good night. Okay. Shelter life continues. Not gonna eat it? <laughs> oh, Diana, you can't waste hey, it. What are you doing? I'm sick of only eating this crap that tastes like dog food. Oh dear. She's losing Diana. her mind. We've been trapped in here for a month now. Cabin fever. What in the world is Akane doing? It's possible that she doesn't remember anything about it. Or she could be dead. I'm sure she still had the bracelet on when she left here. And if so, then there's a chance that Zero injected her again so she'd for... No, that's not it. Akane... Akane betrayed us. She murdered Carlos and Junpei, and abandoned us just to escape on her own. <sighs> Maybe Carlos voted for Q-Team because she manipulated him into doing it. <laughs> Diana, 
What's gotten into you all of a sudden? She's snapping. I mean, Half what do you expect? Half a month ago, you were happy. Half a month Saying ago. it was peaceful. That was then. This is now. Exactly. Has something changed? No. Nothing's changed. That's the problem. Not a single thing. That's why I'm annoyed. Yesterday, today, it's all the same. Same scenery, the same can. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Yeah. Ugh. It's all Rebecca's fault. Rebecca? She was the head nurse. Ugh. She was the one to suggest I join this experiment. I'm not so sure you should be blaming her. You had another reason for signing up for the experiment, didn't you? You're single now, but Diana, you were married before, weren't you? You were married, Diana? Yes, but why do you know that? When you were married, your husband often resorted to beating you. Oh no. He was an alcoholic and recently unemployed. He screwed up at work, garnering a large debt, if I recall correctly. Screwed up at work and when the gained a large dated, debt? He came across as serious and kind, but no longer. He drank to his eyeballs, was always gambling, and would laugh while he kicked and punched you. For no reason. That was his true face. Sounds like a dick. Of course you left him. I'm glad you got Even out of that, After though. the divorce, he persisted in following you around. He'd ask you for money, sex, and if you said no, he beat you black and blue. He's even stopped by the hospital cafeteria. You were having lunch with a co-worker of yours. He showed up out of the blue, screaming his head off and flipped the table. This is the same hospital Every where everyone seems to have been he meeting? Went off on you. He'd always end with, I love you. I love you so much, Diana. And weep. Funny way of showing it. His pain called out to you, and you'd always find yourself caving in. In order to cut all contact with him, you figured the only way it'd work would be to seclude yourself. That's when Rebecca brought it up. The DCOM experiment. I heard about a job at an experiment facility called DCOM. So you... Stop! Stop it! Oh, man. Things what are tense. What is the meaning of this? Why do you know? Would you believe me if I said I heard it from you? Uh, <laughs> I guess not. That Stop face, though. Stop around. I ain't playing. Seriously, Gab, what's your deal? Oh, now she's drinking. You should probably stop now. Yeah. Can't you leave me alone? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> You're not acting like yourself. You're the super weird one here. You're not wrong. Ugh. It's been a whole month and a half. How can you be so calm about all this? I... I have some experience with this kind of thing. That's why he built robots. Stop talking your nonsense. Give it back! No. <laughs> said, give it back! Oh no. Guys, please. Calm hey! yourselves. Look what you did! Hey, stop! Oh jeez. Things are getting so <laughs> desperate. <laughs> You're so silly. You thought I was serious? I thought you were serious. Like, I'd actually like that? Probably. Diana, you're drunk. I can't take it anymore! I'm so sick of this! I don't know what I'd do if I was in seclusion for a month and a half. Hey, sleep with me? You talking to Gab or Sigma? Do you hate me? No, Diane, of course not. Of course not. Men 
Sleep with me. That's not how it works. Come on, hurry. Only Sith deal in absolutes. Thank you very much. Oh. I see. You don't have the balls, coward. This is where you just leave her alone, then, and then she'll regret it in the morning, about... hopefully. Won't you kill me? Okay, no. Please. <laughs> kill me. One, I'll be all alone, and two, what I won't get saying? next pass out of it. I'd rather be killed by someone now than wait to die wasting away in this... Nope. Oh. Return the favor. Just cut it out. Wait. Where are you going? <laughs> Diana, please. Back to the transporter. You know, it will be a sick joke if it actually doesn't take 10 months to recharge and actually it's just broken forever. These guys would have no way of knowing. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Forgive me, Diana. I could see how you felt. I knew you were crying out for help. But not once did I offer a hand. I couldn't. If we got too close, then I felt like something would shatter. Hmm. You said the shelter was peaceful. That happiness could be found here. I knew you were putting on a brave face. Yeah. In reality, the one who believed what you said was me. You gave Sigma hope with your words. It's just you knew your it's words were like empty. You said. I'm not brave. Well, you believe they were anyway. I'm a coward and a wimp. Deep down inside, I was scared of change. I didn't... I didn't want to lose you. Soundtrack is just... Mm, it's like just that time. Fantastic. Like that bluebird. I'm so sorry, Sigma. <laughs> I... I... Please don't slap me. Oh my, they spooched. It's happened. <laughs> Man, just call it the love boat here. Relationships forming everywhere. Oh, oh, oh no, they're in the pod. <laughs> well... Jeez. It's not like anyone's gonna see them anyway. Unless, of course, Zero was still peeping. I... have a dream. You wanna go to the moon, right? You've been obsessed with it since... <laughs> you were a kid. Even your name, Diana, comes from the goddess of the moon. I like the moon. Hey, Sigma? Sorry, random fact. <laughs> can you tell me now? The truth. Why you know so much about me? You wouldn't believe me. Well, I've lived with you for three years. So I know almost everything about you. Wow. Huh? It's not your fault you don't understand. It's complicated. I'm talking about the future. But this history doesn't mean it's an extension of that one. It's a different one. Okay, so hypothetically. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, we've got 10 right months to explain. Now we're uh, on this knee. If you continue on the path, you'll only reach the end of the right toes. You'll never go to the left ones. I was just talking about the left leg path. <laughs> She's just like, Sorry. what? 
Are I you started on about? talking nonsense again. Sigma? Are you really from the future? You believe me? <laughs> yeah. I do. I mean, she's just got no choice at this point. She's just I like, fine. It rather makes the dream better. Yeah. Makes me feel a bit happier thinking you're from the future. Three months later. Goodness. I need to tell you something, Sigma. Did you cheat on me? I may be. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's a development. There we go. November. Pretty sure it's been more than 10 months now, though. You did amazing, Diana. It's a healthy boy. Wait! Hold on! Something... How are we supposed to keep the baby alive? I think... There's another... Twin's birthday. Twin's birthday. Twin's birthday! Twin's birthday! That's garbage, right? Yeah, Twin's birthday. 16... 20... 29! Let's try that. Cute. They're so that just cute. makes this so much more interesting. Yes. How did Zero know? Who would have thought you'd have fraternal twins? You didn't now realize? Now we definitely don't have enough food. Well, I did have a hunch. But I couldn't be sure. It doesn't matter. As I'm just glad you gave birth safely. Even in a place like this. Yeah. It's all because of you, Sigma. It's a miracle. <laughs> Thank you. Stop. I didn't do anything. Sorry, Kyle. You gave me your food? As soon as you knew I was pregnant. Yeah, I'm surprised. You were the one who did all the work. That we made it this far. Thank you. Truly. I couldn't be more proud. Interesting. You know how people claim unconditional love? I'm so curious for the door now. I hated that phrase. I thought it was a lie. I thought there's no way something like that exists. Well, I'm a selfish bastard. <laughs> Every time I help someone, in the back of my mind, I'm expecting recompense. Whether it be gratitude, praise, or a, for a higher power to approve of me. I was wondering why uh, it now, said three I months know. later. But then the next card there really gave an actual date. There really is such a thing as unconditional love in this world. There's no doubt in my mind that I'd give my life for them. <laughs> Not for gratitude or praise. I don't believe in God, so... It's not for God, either. It's just for your children. I need nothing in return. I don't care if I fade away. I just want them to be safe. And to survive. <laughs> That's all I ask. The family portrait. What does it all mean? No, we're not feeding the baby to Gab. Gab? Sigma? Listen to me. You know that biscuit I just gave you? That was the last one. That was the last one. Oh. There's nothing else left. Thanks for everything. We've gone through so much pain. Oh. You always listened to me when I vented to you. Now I feel bad for poor Gab. You saved me many times. So... Thank you. I don't know how I'd be able to say goodbye after, like, spending ten months Diana, with poor dog. I want to show you something. Follow me. Where are we going? Because we'd have no idea about that family portrait. It's in Ward Q. There's the transporter. It's working. The transporter's turned on. I came by earlier and noticed it. 
It appears to be completely charged. Sigma, don't tell me. That's right. I'm transporting these two. <laughs> what? Don't worry. Transporting them doesn't mean they'll disappear. We'll still have them. Their original bodies stay behind after they're scanned. Then... Well, who's gonna pick up the other ones? say it's pointless? We're out of food. If we simply do nothing... You understand? Dang, man. In ten I'm months... I'm sure you remember. But it'll take another ten months to recharge. And we couldn't find any way to access so, Ward C or Q. You're saying... This would be the last time we can use it, then? And we're not even gonna use it on ourselves. Which means... We can't stay with them. I know. Each pod must always hold one body with it. Mm. Two or more people cannot go into a single pod. What if she went while she was pregnant? I suppose it wouldn't... I mean, it didn't work at the time, Where so... Where do we send them? Not the future. It's too dangerous. Then... the past? There's no point to send them to the near future. Sometime before Zero obtains this device, they'll have to go before the year 2009. Before the year 2009. Goodness me. Did you think of a name? What about you? Go on. Remember? Indulge me. We promised. I'd name him if it was a boy. And you would if it was a girl. Then we'll start with the boy. Hit me. Sigma, your name is from the Greek letter Sigma, right? So, I thought, why don't we name our son Delta? My first initial is D. And then to connect that D to a Greek letter... Hmm, Delta? I like it. I don't mind it. What about the girl? The girl. Oddly enough, I was considering a <laughs> Greek letter too. I want to use the one that means the most to me. <gasps> Is it? Phi. Yeah, I was about to say. I'd like to name our daughter after her. Phi. The brooch. I think it's perfect. It's a wonderful name. Oh my gosh. Hold on just a minute. Oh my gosh. It's coming full circle, guys. We gave them their names. It wouldn't be right if someone changed them, would it? Yeah. So what? Oh gosh. Do we just literally draw it on their heads? Oh no, their feet. Oh gosh. Phi and Delta. There's Relax. the brooch. Fi's brooch. You're sending it with her? Yes. Oh my. And Delta, I want to give him this. The Blue Bird Music Box. The Blue Bird Music Box. <sighs> Are you ready? Let's begin. Here we go. See you kids later. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Oh boy. You're our only hope. See you later. Well, that's that. A lot of info gained there. 
Oh no, no more food. That's the end of Sigma and Diana, at least in that timeline. The Stranded Pair. I've got to try it. You know I've got to try it. A silver lining. The two babies. D and two. <laughs> Definitely was D end for them. Sorry, I had to do it. Dad joke. I mean, we just became a dad, right? I love it. The despair of two, the hope of two. Now, the door of truth. It certainly will be. Plug those numbers in, Diana. 11, 16, 20, 29. It's opening! 